In Onshape, you can use Boolean operations to subtract one or more parts from other parts. Here I am in an assembly. I've got a battery holder and I want to use the batteries to cut out from the battery holder part so that they fit inside of there. In a previous video, I edited the battery holder in context. I'm going to do that again. Let me right mouse click on the battery holder. In the pop-up menu, here we have the choice to edit in context. I can create a new context, but I'm going to use the context that I created in the other video. I will click on it. And now I am back in the part studio. I'm going to hide the sheet metal part in here. And you can see that the batteries are showing up in a transparent mode so that I can see the main part that I am working on. Now I can perform my Boolean operations. Here is the command. I will click on it. It opens up the dialog box and there are three choices in here. You can use the union command in order to add parts to each other. And then we have the subtract command. That's what I want to use in this case. You can also create the intersection of one or more parts or two or more parts rather. Let me choose subtract from here. And now I will pick the tools that I want to use. In other words, what I want to use for subtracting. And so I'm going to pick the different batteries in here. And let me give it a moment to select all of those. And so I've got my five battery batteries listed in here. Then I will click where it says targets in order to give this focus. Now I will pick my battery holder part that I want to be subtracted from. And in here, the option that we have for keeping the tools is currently turned on. That's what I want in this situation. I still want to be able to see those different batteries in case I want to do other edits in context. But anyhow, one other thing that I want to do in this situation is I actually want to offset the parts that are being used as tools. Just give a little bit of wiggle room around the parts. And when I do that, I have a field that I could use to pick which faces that I want to offset, but I'm going to offset all of them. And when I do that, I notice that it turns red over up here where it gives the name of the feature that I'm creating. The problem is I'm using way too big an offset distance here because the parts that I'm using as tools, they've got some really small surfaces, so I have to use a smaller value. If I try 0.5, ah, it is still red. Let me try going a little smaller. Not going to give myself too much wiggle room over here, but it is cranking and it does the math and says, oh, okay, I can do an offset of 0.25 based on what I'm using as these different tools. So with that, let me go ahead and click on the check mark. And now there, the subtractions have been made. Just so I can see it a little bit easier, I'm going to use the assembly context dropdown list and change to none. And now I can see how those different cutouts were made. So I can slide my batteries right in there and they will be held. I will use the tabs down at the bottom of the screen to go back to the assembly. And in the assembly, I can also take a look at the cutouts that were made by going to a section view. I will go to the drop down list over here and then choose section view. And then from the dialog box, I can choose my section plane and I will pick this surface. I'm going to drag it off over here so we slice through the middle battery. Let me enter a value of minus 200. And I'm happy with that. I'm not going to exclude any different items. I'll hit the check mark. And that way I can take a look at my section view and see how my batteries are fitting right inside of that battery holder. When I'm done taking a look at the section view, I can turn off its display. So anyhow, that is how you can use Boolean operations to subtract one part or one or more parts from another part, and how to do it in context using top-down design techniques.